So the federal response continues. I met with the head of the response for FEMA today and we kind of walked um, what they need to do next in terms of debris removal and everything else. Um, we're also really starting to focus on the supplemental appropriations, the money that we need to help to rebuild. So um, a lot of disasters across the country, including a Category 5 hurricane probably hitting Florida. So I think the need uh, on a bipartisan basis to replenish that disaster relief fund is really key. Um, we also have a federally qualified community health center that burned down in the fire. And so although Kaiser and HPH and others, uh, Queens have stepped up and are providing care, uh, that's not a sustainable situation. They're really operating out of the hotels and pr trying to provide care wherever they can. But, you know, Lahaina needs a facility uh, and a federally qualified community health center. So we've got to rebuild something, we've got to decide where that goes, and we've got to find the money for it. Okay. I know that you've been listing a bunch of resources for people that's been super helpful in terms of housing and um, just getting people into a temporary situation for now. Can you explain where we're at with that process? Well, um, uh, just go to shots.senate.gov. We have a list of all the resources um, that, are, uh, that will help you um, to find whatever you need, whether it's housing or uh, any other kind of assistance, low interest or zero interest loans or grants uh, where they're appropriate. So that's the first thing, is that we try to keep everything in the same place. Um, look, I think that this is going to be a long recovery, and I want everyone to understand what they're eligible for. Um, over the next 6 to 12 months, it's going to be hard. Um, you know, the, we're now transitioning into a recovery period of time, but the devastation was so complete. This is not like a flood. This is not even like a hurricane. Um, Lahaina Town was flattened, and so we're going to need everything. We're going to need road construction and utility uh, reconstruction, utility undergrounding, uh, sewer, uh, drinking water, all of it is gonna require federal funding. So we gotta be in here for the long haul and hang in there together uh, with each other. We had a chance to speak with some of the survivors yesterday and one of their biggest concerns was just the longevity of the situation and not knowing what's gonna happen a month, two months from now in terms of housing. Is there any assurances that you can provide that they're gonna be cared for? I'm pretty confident that all of the victims are going to be housed uh, for many, many months to come. Um, I think the challenge is we probably have about 18 months of subsidized housing, whether that's in hotels or Airbnbs or elsewhere. After that, we're gonna have to move into a more permanent situation for folks. So for some folks, that means their insurance will kick in and they'll be able to rebuild, whether that's in Lahaina or somewhere else. Um, but for other folks, we're gonna have to try to help them to find a more uh, uh, permanent housing solution. Um, up in the press conference earlier this afternoon, they talked about um, starting to transition people to check out their their homes and just revisiting the area. What is the, um, just knowing the amount of infrastructure that's going to be needed, do you have a timeline or projection of how long it will take to rebuild? Uh, look, I don't think anybody knows how long it will take to rebuild Lahaina. I think we should think in terms of what's the next step. And the next step is to make it clean enough and safe enough for people to go back to their own properties uh, and achieve closure, whatever that looks. Some people may not ever want to go back. Some people may want to have a ceremony. Some people may want to see if their personal effects are still there, but they got to have access to their own personal family property. And then the next step is the debris removal. And then after that comes whatever comes next. But that's at least a year, year and a half from now. And I think, you know, part of the, maybe the mistake that some folks made early was talking about rebuilding really quick. And there was this sense that FEMA was going to come in, not let local people back in and bulldoze and rebuild. That's not what's going to happen. We understand the importance of, you know, emotional, psychological closure, having access to your own property, yeah, your own family property. Um, we got to give people that chance to grieve, um, and then we can talk about moving on.